Harry Potter leaks have now turned into a reality. The summer wave has been announced by Lego with official images. Let's take a look at what we can expect to see starting June 1st. Make sure you stick around because all of these are worth looking at. Let's start off with everyone's favourite hippogriff, Buckbeak. Set 76427, 723 pieces and retailing at $59.99 US dollars. The latest instalment in the Buildable Creatures collection, but taking a different angle this time. Usually we would like to see the Buildable Creatures come with a stand and flappable wings, but the Buckbeak doesn't seem to have that. Although, you are able to either fold out the wings for the flight pose or rotate and tuck the wings in as well as adjust the legs to allow the famous hippogriff bowing pose. So that in itself is a cool feature. Overall though, they could have done so much more with this. Yeah, it's cool, but it could have been amazing. Moving on, we have a different kind of potions class we've seen before. I'm sure you guys remember the foldable book one we had. Well, this one is much better. Set 76431 has 397 pieces and it's going to stand you in around 39.99 USD, which is quite reasonable if you ask me. If you just take a look at the details that have gone into this one, you'll understand why it's so much better. There's so many unique pieces that I love. The beakers with the potions in them are a great touch and the upside down domes with stickers on holding all of the ingredients is a great idea. You can see the cauldrons exploding God knows what out of them, which makes it look like controlled chaos. I'm seeing plenty and plenty of stickers though. That's all I'm saying. The whole scene can be folded up into a nice little tight knit classroom. Then it can slide into the expansion slot on the new great hall. But keep watching and you'll see what I mean. As for the minifigures, we have the almighty server Snape with his absolutely stunning printed outfit and arm printings, which I did not expect. Hermione Granger as standard, Probably telling everyone, oh, it's in Leviosa. Pansy Parkinson, and finally Seamus Finnegan with an explosive secondary face. The cheapest set of the bunch, set 76434, Aragog in the Forbidden Forest. It has 195 pieces and will only be 1999 US dollars. Not really much going on here. The pieces used to create Aragog are much better than the previous, so his shape is quite awesome, if you ask me. So visually, it is pretty cool, but I am absolutely terrified of spiders in any way, shape or form. So this is a hard pass for me. Minifigure wise, you get the standard duo, Harry Potter and Ron Weasley, with choices of happy and scared faces, some ones and a lantern element. From cheapest to most expensive, this is probably the most anticipated one of the bunch. Set 76435, The Great Hall. 1,732 pieces of excellence and retailing at 199 US dollars. Just on initial viewing, this does seem to be the best Great Hall we've seen so far and will be part of a new expandable castle, so potentially creating the best Hogwarts castle and grounds we've seen. I just love how it sits up high on the rocks, it really just does give it that extra beefiness we've been wanting. The stairs that lead to nowhere at the moment also have a use. At the bottom you can see some connecting pieces. This is where you will be able to connect the boathouse that released earlier this year, which is the start of our massive modular castle. The details are looking hella sharp too. The balcony on the outside is an awesome addition and I'm so excited there's a courtyard as well. But this set definitely does excel internally. There's so much going on. You've got the grand feast set up for the students with all of the house banners on the walls. I also really like the use of the candles to show the levitating candles from the films and the cloud pieces in the ceiling are a great touch. Although, the coolest addition to this set is the removable scenes down below. This is exactly where you could put the folded up potions class we mentioned earlier. At the moment in time, there's three rooms included. We have a standard corridor with them collectible plaques on the walls, the Hufflepuff common room and the girls bathroom which is showcasing the brand new big fig moldable troll which I am super excited about. The troll has never looked so ugly but perfect at the same time. I cannot wait to get my hands on that guy. The whole slidable elements are an exciting feature and I cannot wait to see what this is entailing for us in the future. As for figures, we get an outstanding 11 of them. Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, Hermione 
Hermione Granger, Albus Dumbledore, Professor Krill, Leanne, Daphne Greengrass, Terry Boot, Professor Vector, the Fat Friar, and finally our resident big guy, the Mountain Troll. Now, did somebody say perfect set? Because I'm hearing that everywhere. Now, here's one I didn't know what to expect. Set 76433, the Mandrake. 579 pieces and a sheer 69.99 US dollars. I think we all expected a sound brick from this one, which I'm also glad we didn't get. Because have you heard these guys scream? Nah, I'm good thanks. But the whole concept is really cool in my opinion. I actually think this looks perfect for what it's going for. I love the printed leaves and how high quality the overall build looks when the mandrake is sitting firmly in the pot. It looks cute mixed with the I'm gonna blow your eardrums apart and I'm all for that life of danger. The mouth does in fact open and close to simulate this little guy screaming straight into your soul and you can also lift him out of the pot to reveal the rest of his slender body which again is a unique and cool concept. It definitely looks better potted though. Please keep him potted for everyone's sake. I'm super excited for this one. Set 76439, Ollivanders and Madam Malkins. 744 pieces and a pretty reasonable for what you get at 89.99 US dollars. Now straight away, let's just get the nitty gritty out of the way. Yes, this does connect to the existing Weasley's Withered Weezers and Outpost, which we love. Starting with Ollivanders, just look how incredible this looks. The dark colour scheme and the yellow tinted windows really stands out and looks perfect. The sticker signs on the outside telling you which way to go for the other stores is incredible and I love the crooked chimney on the roof. And just look at the two one racks sitting proud out front. I love this building. Madame Malkinso, again, just wow. There's not too much going on externally, but the colour scheme completely makes up for that. The bigger, more expensive diagonal alley set does not have this, so I'm glad this one does. The purples and greys work perfectly in tandem and I cannot wait to have these on display. Internally though, these sets steal the show. Ollivanders have these incredible one display cases and slidable ladder, which is a unique touch. And just look at all of those colourful wand boxes. Them details are incredible. Oh, and you also get 26 different ones to display. That in itself is so, so good. Madame Malkins has these awesome looking display stands for outfits and accessories. We've got hats, we've got uniforms and robes to choose from. And as much as I'm not a fan of stickers, the sticker details in this is pretty cool and I'm impressed. We also get six minifigures, which I'm super happy about. Harry Potter, Garrick Ollivander, Madame Malkin, Padma Patil, a wizard student and also a witch with a cool barrow of flowers. This lineup just keeps improving. Set 76440, Tri Wizard Tournament, The Arrival has 1,229 pieces and will be 139.99 US dollars. This set is an iconic duo of the Durstram ship and Bo Batten's carriage in the most detailed form we've ever seen. The ship is an absolute animal with this huge printed fabric sail and all of these details we see down the sides. The angry faces on the side are super cool and as well as the shields and the unique gold elements we see all over. The ship also has detachable sections to reveal a detailed living area and sleeping quarters too. The carriage in itself is super fun and again the colours are hitting me different in this wave. You get the Abraxan figure out front taking the lead and on the carriage itself the doors are able to open and close as well as the roof of the carriage completely detaching giving you space for two mini figures inside. There's also a trunk containing teacups which is an awesome easter egg from the films. Minifigure wise we're getting spoiled again, five more on this set and all of them I cannot wait to own. Starting it off we got Victor Crumb, a new Igor Karkarov, Barty Crouch Senior, Flor de la Clore, and finally the long limbed Madame Maxine which is an awesome figure. All alongside an accessory element of the Goblet of Fire. 
I cannot wait for this set. Finally, we have the late release of the bunch coming September 1st, set 76438, the Harry Potter advent calendar, 301 pieces retailing for 44.99 US dollars. You get eight toy characters with this one, including Harry Potter, Susan Bones, Cho Chang, Draco Malfoy, Albus Dumbledore, Professor Flitwick, some choir ghost minifigures and also a Hedwig figure. Alongside them you get 16 mini builds of all different kinds. You even get a table, some festive items and a gargoyle from each of the four houses. The cool thing about this set though is all of the minifigures and buildable models can be added to the Great Hall set we spoke about earlier. So I'm guessing if you wanted to make the Great Hall festive, now you can. What a great addition. I've never really been one for advent calendars, but I might have to pick this one up because it does look awesome. But there we have it guys, all of the confirmed sets for the June wave and beyond so far. Let me know down in the comments what you're hoping to pick up and let me know your thoughts on what we've gone through today. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will be definitely seeing you in the next one.